All right, today marks 17 days since 29 year old Tyree Nichols died after what police describe as confrontations with police. And we now know that five former officers are charged with second degree murder and other charges. Memphis's NAACP president Van Turner joining us live now in studio. We've seen a lot of you the last few days, but right. this morning, a, a couple of hours ago, Police Chief CJ Davis said on CNN that there was no constitutional reason mm -hmm. to stop Mr. Nichols, and she said right. no evidence to pull him over. Right. This is something we have heard from a lot of young black men in mm -hmm. this city and in other cities too. Right, right, and it's a problem. You know, <clears throat> you go to the Fourth Amendment, so you have a right to privacy, you know, and that's a constitutional right. And to uh, violate this right is problematic, especially when it's uh, black and brown uh, men and women who are, you know, at the brunt of these violations. And so uh, that's disturbing. It really is. Not only do you violate the right of, uh, of uh, Tyree, mm -hmm. But then you go on and, and he suffers what we all are, are, are going to see probably a little later on today, a, a beating that kills him. So it, it's just quite disturbing and it's, it's a gut punch. And, um, you know, I, I just, uh, we, we, we are just dumbfounded at, at how this could happen. Have you seen the video? No, I haven't, I haven't, but I've, we've heard enough about it to know it, it's going to be pretty bad. Pretty bad. So how do we talk <coughs> police reform when we're in a city with a growing crime problem, especially mm -hmm. with very young people, teenagers and, and young adults, wh where's that line? How do you yeah. balance? Well, I think the balance is obviously we have the crime problem and we need law enforcement, uh, but we also need to stop the pipeline of, of, <clears throat> of what's leading our young people into crime. And, and what are we talking about? We're talking about poverty. I mean, let's, let's just call it what it is. Crime is a, a symptom of, of poverty in our community, neglect in our community, uh, lack of uh, adequate education funding in our community, all those things create uh, the symptoms that we see play out day in and day out when it comes to crime. So I do think that we ought to support good law enforcement. We ought to hold them accountable. We ought to uh, hold those who are uh, uh, not doing right uh, as law enforcement officers and, and hold them accountable, but we have to stop the pipeline of our young people going into uh, crime in the first place. So we need to equally be focused on good law enforcement mm -hmm. as well as stopping the pipeline of these young people getting into criminal activity. Are you satisfied with the way, way Memphis police, the TBI and, and, and the FBI also investigating too, is mm -hmm. are handling this case? Yeah, I mean, w w let's look at it. Uh, a termination, not a suspension. Uh, release of the video footage and an indictment. And so these are three factors that we've not seen in all these other cases. If you take to go to George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, uh, all these other cases, you haven't seen this type of swift action, this type of transparency. And so I think it is good. All right, any last words for folks who are watching right now who may be afraid um, of the emotional outpouring we could see after this video is released? Well, I think they've prepared us for it. Uh, let's let's uh, come together as a, as a city and get beyond this. We've been hit several times uh, and we've overcome uh, challenges and hurdles and we've done it in the past and we'll do it this time as well. We call for peaceful protest and we have no doubt that they will be, but we want change and we want meaningful change. And so the demand for meaningful change is legitimate and we ought to support that as well. Yeah, and peaceful protest, Tyree's right. mother said, that's yeah. what Tyree would want to. Yeah, that's Van, absolutely. Van Turner, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. I know I know you've been busy the last yes, few days too.